And welcome to Bama Geeks once again. It is Dirty 30, episode Ooh. number 30. We have made it through three decades, whatever. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Guys, we're, we're, we're literally like 10 seconds into this and Brock's already bringing age of some sort into the... Yeah. Of course. Of course. I mean, of that course. seems to be our thing. You know how it is. <laughs> our We've got to come up with a tagline. Bama Geeks. The old <laughs> folks return. I don't know. Bama Geeks. <laughs> 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 so yeah i'm uh i'm brock parker hope you're doing well and uh we'll go around and see how everybody's doing and just to give you guys a brief overview of uh, what this episode will be we'll all say hi tell you what's been up we will discuss star trek strange new worlds there have been two episodes if you haven't seen either and you don't want to be spoiled we'll tell you before we start talking about that and if you make it through that <laughs> we are going to open up the can of worms that is the multiverse of madness and this will be a spoiler filled review and we've all seen it which is amazing oh, yep uh, Bo finally saw it friday he was right there on the edge but he got yes. to it <laughs> and uh, we have thoughts and we'll discuss them and they will be spoilery we'll let you know when we start to talk about that so we hope you're around for the whole episode. Hopefully you've seen these things and will hang in there with us. But we'll go ahead and kick it off. My beautiful bride, my Midgey, my Jess. How are you, baby? Hey, honey, I am uh, just going to roll right into the age discussion here. I am 45 and thriving. <laughs> <laughs> 45 alive. 45 alive. <laughs> Would you like to be a pepper too? <laughs> we know the reference. <laughs> yes. Yes. All too well. Um, yeah. Uh, coming off of uh, Mother's Day and uh, birthday celebrations. I'm uh, doing very well this evening. Thank you. Awesome. Oh. Wait, 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 yes. wait, 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 you made me think, I don't, I forgot it was not in the notes and you're going to discuss it. Are we not going to discuss the bean waffles? Yes, we are. We are going to talk about baked bean waffles. Now, I was wondering if she was going to like talk about the trip, but she was going to say, Hey, I'm fine. And then leave it at that. Uh, well, no, I, I can, I can oh, go, no, on go further into go this. Ahead. Yeah. Do it. So. Do it. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we, uh, we talked about in the previous episode, but, uh, for Mother's Day weekend, uh, me and Brock took a little small getaway down to Orange Beach and, uh, I know why you shook your head and I do apologize. Brock and I, <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too, yeah, I love you. I know you only have my, well, you, you're only concerned about my well being there and yeah. that I'm speaking properly I, I appreciate that thank you <laughs> we, had this, we had this discussion we er, already we, had this discussion we had today. this discussion earlier in the kitchen yes. today it's like mm -hmm. honey it's not me and brock it's brock and i yeah <laughs> i for, for those who don't know i am a writer I, I i write news articles for a living so i all everything I get post, everything that I post on social media, I have a proofreader before <laughs> I send it out there. Because if I send it out there, um, should have been a comma there. Um, you spelled this instead of this. Um, she so does like, I'm so I I am a very bad grammar husband. And and I get it. You're just well, you're hey, just you just want things to be presented well. And I and I get that. That's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Just so, some people have yes. to pay money for that to get somebody to do that. So I guess that's the it's the perks of being, it, it's the perks of the marriage. It's one of the many perks of being married to Brock. She does not have to subscribe to Grammarly.com. <laughs> I have Grammarly. <laughs> yeah. I've got hey mom, can we get Grammarly.com? No, we got it at home. I got it at home in Brock Parker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. I said I wouldn't do this to you this episode. I'm so sorry. It's okay. No, look, seriously. He, <laughs> he actually is so, did say that. He I'm is so tell. worried that he comes across as a... No, he, he is not. I promise you. I, I love being married to this man. This man brings me... 
utter happiness. I, I just love him so much. So I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. God, it's getting too mushy in here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Brock and I took a small. <laughs> yeah, stop. Mm. That was her chair uh, this week, by the uh, way. Uh, <laughs> 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 We went to Orange Beach, y'all, and it was lovely. The weather was absolutely beautiful. We did our usual, uh, well, we got up Friday morning, and we, like I said, we went to go see Doctor Strange at 10 o'clock in a very packed theater for it to be 10 o'clock on Friday, mm -hmm. which I guess, you know, that's the people that unfortunately probably couldn't get their tickets for Thursday, so they were like <laughs> us. Well, let's just go at 10 o'clock on Friday. There's not going to be that many people there. Wrong. No, wrong. Um, Those are the people, the A-listers, who couldn't get them on Thursday yeah, either. Like yeah, us. <laughs> like us. <laughs> uh, yeah, and very crowded theater. We were uh, we were packed in there, and so we we saw Doctor Strange. We left and uh, proceeded to uh, head to Orange Beach. We had our usual stop at Kaneka, which is always a always a fun <laughs> little stop along the way. Yes, Kaneka, wonderful little Kaneka sausage dogs to eat on the way to the beach. Uh, got down to the beach Friday night, got checked in, went out to eat Friday night, got up Saturday, and I, I had heard about this little place in Orange Beach called Buzz Cats Coffee and Sweets. And uh, so we decided to go over there and check it out, and we get there, and they have all their, their little specials for the day. And the flavor of the day for the waffles was apple pie. Now, this is, I, I love apple pie. It's got to be one of my most favorite desserts. Anything involving apple pie, I'm all in. Count me in. So we ordered that, and it's beautiful. It looks wonderful. So I'm going to be the foodie person. I'm going to post <laughs> this on, on social media. You know, and, and talk, and talk up the place because it's fabulous, wonderful little place. I want others to know about it. Well, Descri it did not occur to me. D describe the topping. Oh, okay. So they bring the, you know, the waffle out and it's like, you know, it's like apple pie filling, like, you know, little, little diced pieces of apple and the, and the filling and everything. Little tiny pieces. Yeah. Hmm. So, you know, I post a picture of this food and I'm talking about how wonderful this place is and I get the first question. I thought that thought you had baked beans on that waffle, which proceeded into <laughs> more comments and more comments. Everybody thought it was baked beans. Baked beans. On top of the <laughs> I, I do not eat baked bean waffles for the record. So, <laughs> and, I, and I had the same thing. I had them too. Yeah. Neither one of us considered the baked bean reference. when Because yeah. you're sitting there looking at it, it looks like little apples. But mm -hmm. apparently... In a photo on Facebook, it looks like baked beans. I just, and the comments just kept getting better and better <laughs> and better the more that I read. That just, and I said, so this is my takeaway from my weekend is that I had baked bean waffles. Um, <laughs> well, you know, I didn't follow this conversation and I'm now, I'm disappointed that this wasn't a real thing. I wanted to know what baked bean oh, waffles yeah. taste like. It's well, still out there. We, the, who knows? We may have given Buzzcat an idea. No, please don't. No. I don't know if I could. I don't know I, if I, I really want to know it. what it tastes like. Mm, it would probably no. taste like garbage. But I would. <laughs> but, but no, no. <laughs> it, would, it would probably taste like on mayo it. on fruit. Look, we had pear salad for lunch today. Thank you, sir. Mm, yes, we and did. And I enjoyed every <laughs> bite. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure beans on waffles would be something you have to be severely inebriated to probably enjoy. I'm just saying, you know, that's. Uh, what? Is, is it an option at Waffle House? I mean, I, 20, 24 seven. Waffle yeah. House has <laughs> their menu is like look look. Their, waffle House's menu is like nothing now. You go there, you can't even do the chili anymore. Okay. Yeah. Really? What? what? Seriously. Hmm. Yeah. Chili seriously. So no, some other covered yeah. in bean. You know that whole little section in the middle where that you yeah. like do the, the secret code? That's gone huh. on the menu. It's gone. I'm wow. Serious. I really wish I, I was joking about that. It's it sucks. Do they I've close been to during, good, during but... storms now? I don't know. 
if you're going to take away the the Waffle House menu, you got to shut down during storms. Apparently, I mean, <laughs> they, they might as well at this point. I mean, you know, my I mean. goodness. So, but yeah, that was apple pie waffle, not baked bean waffles, and they were <laughs> fantastic. Best waffles That's I've so ever had, good. hands down, the best waffles I've ever had. But now the now it's I, kind of ruined, you know. Yeah, because I, I I can't stand baked beans. I eat every bean except baked beans. I mm. hate baked beans. <laughs> and now that's you know what but i can close my eyes and eat my waffle and be just as happy yes see I've, i i haven't heard of that breakfast place the pl- breakfast place down there always everybody brag about it's called hazel's nook and i haven't been there yet but apparently that's like a big breakfast place down hmm. there yeah i didn't know about no, this, that this place was you know where you get on the canal and you make mm-hmm. a make a right to go to docks and yes docks right there the buzzcat is like two doors down yeah take a left take a left instead yeah yeah Speaking so, of which, I am so glad y'all enjoyed Docs. We did. No. <laughs> they they boast that they Dude. have the best fried shrimp in the entire civilization, civilized world. world. Yes, yes, and they weren't lying. I, I didn't think that fried shrimp could really taste different from place to place because oh. fried shrimp is fried <laughs> shrimp. No, this place nailed it, and yes. I don't know how, but that is the absolute best fried shrimp I've ever had. Yes, yeah, so thank you for the recommendation. Yeah, thank you. Was- I, I I found out it from someone else because it was one of those places like, where do the locals go? Mm-hmm. And that's how I found out about it. And like, yes, it is wonderful. I discovered it about seven or eight years ago, and anytime I know anyone's down there, I'm like, go, go, yeah. have to go. We're, we'll definitely go. <laughs> we're, we'll go back. <laughs> yes, we will definitely go back. We're going back down in September for uh, – a work conference is so that we're, we're going straight back there. Yeah. No and it's like, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and share with the listeners that, uh, the, the, what I told, I told you Bo and what I had mm. said to Brock, I was like, Bo may not like mayonnaise, but he can recommend a good place to eat. Yeah. I trust, yeah. I trust him. If he recommends a place to eat, I don't get all this <laughs> extra padded from nothing. I mean, I'm saying. <laughs> have, uh, you, have you ever eaten at GT's, which is right next to docs? No, but I've heard it's wonderful. Mm. That, that's where she, she wanted to go for for Mother's Day lunch, and that's where we went. We both had the shrimp and grits. Mm-hmm. Their grits came in squares, yes. fried squares. It was mm. Parmesan grits. Mm-hmm. They came. It, it looked like a fish yeah. fl- a fillet of yeah, fish like or something. Make it like a little cake, and yeah. they fry it. Yeah, and that sounds you awesome. Crack, you oh, crack that thing open, so and all good. this Parmesan and grits come flowing out. Mm-hmm. Oh my mm. goodness! There's no other way to do grits. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh wow, it's good, man. It's good. Yeah, we had we had said that we were gonna venture out and try a couple of places different than we than than we'd been to before. So we did not eat a Cracker Barrel. <laughs> hey, we we did not eat a Cracker Barrel. And and I am one of these places. When I go out of town, I I like to find places like yep. you know that that are there that you don't get. You know, you can't go home and and have. Yeah. So, um, but we uh we also we we indulged in a lot of eating that weekend. Mm-hmm. It was, <laughs> there was a lot of eating going on. Um, cause also that Saturday night we, uh, we went to our little ice cream spot down there, Sweet Cone, Alabama. Mm-hmm. Have you been there, Bo? Have y'all had a chance? No, I, to- I've heard it. It's great. You yes, have to go. Yeah. So yeah, if you're in Orange Beach, uh, definitely go to Sweet Cone, Alabama. You will not be disappointed. Mm-mm. Um, oh. we had, I had banana pudding, ice cream on a waffle cone. Got to go with that waffle cone. Love it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, Sunday we got uh, we went to City Donut too. So that's another place. Apple fritters are huge, larger than the palm of my hand, and I love them. So you're small. You don't have a large palm <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> so it was it was a weekend of, of just relaxing and eating. And uh, like I said, the weather was perfect. Saturday we sat out on the beach for a little while. 80 degrees, low humidity. No clouds. Oh, no the entire clouds. weekend, no clouds. The only the only problem with the beach this time around, uh, Friday and Saturday, was the seaweed. Lot, lots of seaweed, but I think they had just had a storm come through there. Thursday couple, night. Yeah. yeah, before we got there, so I'm pretty sure that probably contributed to a lot of that. But um, but when we did get down the water, the water temperature was great. It was just all around just a perfect time to be there and to be outside to enjoy the beach. And mm-hmm. we did our romantic walks on the beach at night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stepped on crabs. It was yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, Mother's Day came and I got my presents from Brock. Uh, you know, Mother's Day, not to not to get off on a too sad of a topic here, but, 
you know, for, for Brock and myself, Mother's Day is a kind of a tough, you know, little tough holiday. And, uh, but Brock does what he can to, to lighten it and make it, you know, a, a good and good time. So I definitely was surprised by my Mother's Day gifts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brock's like, I know I don't get you really frilly stuff and, you know, all these cutesy stuff. I was like, no, but you give me stuff that, that makes me, I'm never disappointed in any gift that Brock gives me because that is his love language is gift giving. And he, he never, ever, ever disappoints in that area. And I'm always, I always look forward to seeing what I'm going to get because I never know. I don't, I'm not, I'm a person I can never tell you, what do you want? I don't know. I don't ever know what to tell people I want. He doesn't disappoint. He comes through like a champ. So I, uh, <laughs> I was not expecting a John Silver AEW <laughs> action figure, but that's kind of a little joke between Brock mm -hmm. and I. So there's, there's that thought that goes behind it. it gave me a good laugh. And I got my Shrek coffee cup. Nice. Which, like I don't have enough coffee cups in this house. But you didn't have one in the shape of Shrek's head. I did not. <laughs> so <laughs> I now have a Shrek coffee cup. Yeah. Thanks to Brock. <laughs> um, and just rolling into Tuesday for my birthday right quick before I, before we proceed on, uh, went out to eat at Taco Mama. It was Taco Tuesday and I'm a mama and I love tacos. It's my birthday. <laughs> so Taco Mama Tuesday for my birthday fantastic food as always and the presents i got for my birthday this year i got which surprisingly enough i got a funko pop which we're trying to scale back on that but if you heard the patreon only yeah. bonus episode this yeah. past week we discussed why funko needs to disappear out of our house <laughs> <laughs> so there's too much funko in this house <laughs> and then yet yeah but he didn't i he Got me Luke Skywalker holding Grogu. So a present with Grogu is always can't ever go wrong with that. I got my uh, AEW exclusive. It's a it's an exclusive figure. Ringside Ring collector. Rings, okay. Rings, Ringside collectibles exclusive. Of uh, Jurassic Express, which is Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, my favorite tag team, and AEW. And uh, I got a, a Goonies board game. So oh, hopefully nice. we'll be able to um, to break that out soon and learn that and. Looking forward to to playing that at some point in time. So thank you for a wonderful beach weekend for Mother's Day and for what you did for me for my birthday. Thank you, Brock. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> so I think I've talked enough now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Kevin, Mr. Kevin Gardner, what's <laughs> been happening with you, sir? You have been just sitting on your keister doing nothing. Mm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so do you, do you guys remember Bob the Builder? <laughs> yes we can you guys remember bob the builder mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's you that's, can build that's, it kev i don't know you know i mean he's, he's kevin the, the constructor and we, we're a homeowner you know what you know the, the he, bits and pieces you know i've kind of told in in our episodes you know bought bought a bought a house um the thing was full of trees in the backyard. I've had like massive amounts of trees taken out to have a functional backyard and i'm now currently uh building a fence um, to, and then it's, it's been an experience. I've been, anybody who's, who's friends with me on, on, uh, the socials has, you're, you're either incredibly interested in my post posts or, um, <laughs> post -post. Or, yeah, or, or, or you, um, or, or you, you're just like, this guy's insane, um, <laughs> because of the amount because this, this is the thing that's interesting to me right now. I'm, I'm spending, you know, I spent this entire weekend, um, working on, um, building what amounts to about a third of my my encirclement of my backyard um trying to get that set up and and i'm doing a, a really nice classy um dark colored um post and rail fence uh with uh with with mesh on the inside of it so it's it'll be good and safe for for the animals to keep them in and you know to keep everything else out i guess uh, that's that's too large to go through those but um it's been an experience for me and um you know absolutely tiring but yeah i'm, I'm kind of got <laughs> crazy bob the builder vibes going on right now um i let's see what else went on um let's see i watched i actually made it through and watched all of the pentaveret um uh, that new um mike myers oh yeah oh okay yeah, 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 yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it was really good to see Mike Myers back being himself and actually doing his own comedy. I mean, uh, people are really split on like whether you like his his comedy or not. Like his, mm-hmm. but this is kind of him being a little more raw and being, you know, it's uh, it's Mike Myers doing all the different roles and all the different things. And and there's even a, Sh- a Shrek. It, it got me thinking about it when Jess mentioned it. There's even a, a Shrek portion in there where where they they go to a town and it's it's got this ogre festival. And then, <laughs> and then a character shows up and they're like, this is the ogre. And it's like, oh, he's not the ogre. I'm the ogre. And it's like the full on mm. like Shrek costume. Somebody's in a, a costume and, and whatnot. <laughs> nice. so it's, oh, okay. I mean, it's, it's, a, it, it's, it's only six episodes and they, and, and the playful banter at the beginning of it, um, uh, that the, they basically dare you to watch the episodes. Like you, we're not going to tell you the full story until you watch the last episode. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's very good. Um, mm. It's very good Mike Myers comedy, but anyway, yeah, that's um, yeah, the ph- a phenomenal show. I don't know if it's something that would be worthy of another season, but it was an experience nonetheless. It's one of those shows where you just kind of uh, sit at the end of it and you're like, "All right, yeah, what's the next thing? Let's watch something else." Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, um, you know, huge, huge, uh, huge fence builder right now, like building things. That's my my my, my big thing. So that's what I've been up to. Very nice. Yeah. Well, Bo Bearden, Mr. Yes. Mayo, what's up? <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, I'll, let's see. Not much really for me. Like I said, I'm with you guys there. Like I said, um, last couple of weeks, nothing really been mostly working. This weekend's been the entertaining weekends. Me, me and the kiddo, we got out. Of course, we went Friday and saw Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. Uh, then after that, we went bowling, which was great, which – it was good, but it was just me and him. I think next time we're going to go bowling, I need some other folks because he got he got a little upset because old dad was doing good and he wasn't doing as good. <laughs> I told him, I said, look, bud, you are you are seven. I am 41. I have, you know, 30 plus years of experience on you. This and, and I and I and I wasn't like knocking down like 200 up. I was barely doing good to break 100 to 150. So, I mean, it wasn't like, you know, old dad was striking them down. It was just mostly like I kept telling him, like, bud, you just, just got to get pra-. he's very. He, he gets easily discouraged when he isn't automatically good at something. I, you know, that's, I mean, that's normal human nature, but with him being seven, you know, it even adds to it. We, we've watched your streams, Bo. We know. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. that is very true. That is very true. If you watch the stream games, like it, I guess it, it, it's, it's, yeah, he gets very discouraged, but I'm working on, it. I keep telling him, but I'm like, look, man, you're, you're not automatically good. You, you got to get there. I mean, that's, that's just, I, I told him, I said, look, I'm not better at you. I said, I'm not better at you at bowling. I just have more experience. I said, there's a difference, you know? Yeah. And that's, and that's the way I was, I was trying to make it a teaching moment, like where, you know, oh, I'm not better. I was just, yeah, I was trying to, you know, make it more palpable to him, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did, did they have the, the bumpers up on the side? We did. We did. Yeah. He was just, it was just mostly he knocked down a few and then he didn't get next any of the second try. So, I mean, it was just, you know, just, just normal kid disturbs. But we'll, we'll get there. Of course, this is the first time we went bowling in a year. We've got to go more than once a year. So, you know, that might help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, let's see, we did that, which, which I will say, like I so said, we, I tried out the, went to this, the Riverview lanes up there off of two, 280 mm-hmm. and they just branded into the bolero brand that's kind of the new kind of thing which i must say i was i was hoping it was going to be you know you know with it being 280 be more the the more fancy uh i have to say i prefer the bolero of tuscaloosa much more but of course <laughs> is that the bowling alley that we went to for uh, uh your bachelor party thing is that the one mm-hmm. up by target on 280 yes yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> You don't remember that <laughs> night, do you? Uh, uh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, well let's be, of course, no, guys. Been I've a, been told that I don't. Yeah, yeah. That was about eleven years ago. So yeah. So I don't remember anything, <laughs> but except bowling. You should remember yes. the bowling. <laughs> the bowling. <yes. laughs> That's the only thing you should remember yeah. for that night. Yeah, it's, it's been it's been it's been converted. Yeah, it's been converted. Like it was. I, I was expecting because like I've been in the Bolero. Like I said, the Bolero in Tuscaloosa, which is really nice. I'm not trying to. Like it's turf war, but I was expecting more for 280. But you know, yeah, is the Bolero the one over the new one over by uh McFarland or not McFarland Mall, but uh Tuscaloosa Mall what, University, University Mall? Mall. Yes, yeah. the former converted like grocery store that is now a bowling alley. Yeah, it used to be a Bruno's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's it's really nice. Like it's you get a chance to check it out, okay. Yeah. And then that was that was our Friday, and then Saturday we went to our neighboring town, Brookwood. They're 
the, now they're a city, excuse me. The Brookwood was having their, their from their transition from a town to a city. Did, so, uh, did, did Nixie force that change? I, I have no idea, but that is a good question. <laughs> he probably went in there screaming. I, uh, Make this uh, a city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We did that for a few hours or a few hours. They had a few kid stuff and did music. It, they didn't have enough kid stuff for him. So <laughs> it was mostly he, he and I this weekend. So we did that. And then of course we came back and played video games and had a good, had a good evening. So that's yeah. beyond that. And I'm trying to think also, we'll talk about it here, but uh, for me watching, of course I'm caught up. I think Kevin, are you caught up on Halo now? Do you watch this week's no. episode? Thursday, no. like, let's see. Thursday has now become my excited day to watch stuff because Strange New Worlds and that's, Halo drop on Thursday for me. That's it, Brock. We were trying to figure out, yeah, what what else were we missing because we were trying to. Yeah, Halo. It, we got to start Halo. Yeah, we got to do. Yeah, that. Halo's yeah. real. Uh, Halo's been really good. Like I, uh, if you're a fan of the game series, like it's not a straight adaptation. That's one thing I've got to. I've, everybody's got to put past movies and TV shows are not going to be adaptations of video games because they've got to make it where it's more digestible to the tv audience because mm -hmm. like basically in the in halo they've took master chief and given him some character and depth rather than just yeah. player one mm -hmm. wait a minute are you telling me that super mario brothers from the 90s is not in a straight-up adaptation of a game? <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is one of the best what did they call that what is that punk some kind of punk and hmm mm -hmm. sorry Oh, no. I'm sorry, and I just realized I see a spot on my ceiling over here. I need to fix it. A bit. Sorry, <laughs> squirrel. Yeah, sorry. No, there is a the spot. Has you as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, sorry to me to get distracted. That was just something that caught me. There's a, there's a spot there. I well, 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 as you guys, like I said, you guys know that I got ceiling tiles, and there's a spot over there. It looks like something is leaked, so I'm gonna have to fix uh -oh. that after we get done. Uh -oh. So. Ooh. Oh no! Let's just stream post. over. We're gonna go fix yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> right. we'll, we'll get it. Kevin but, uh, is on his way. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I've got you, man. Come on. Anyway, be, yeah, beyond that, let's see. Yeah, so I'm excited for Stranger Worlds and Halo on Thursday, and we'll mm -hmm. get back on topic here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll definitely dive into Strange New Worlds in just a just a couple of minutes. Uh, uh, you've heard what I've been up to, you know, thanks to the bride. So, well, hey, why don't you talk about driving home today? From oh. the I have to tell you guys, there's only what? a handful of things in this world that make me stupid happy. And I mean, just reopens my childhood. Well, I, I'm looking for something on my desk real quick. I don't know if, oh, do I not have it sitting on my desk anymore? Uh oh. What? Hang on, I'm moving stuff around. So, anyway, we're driving back today uh, from taking my son back to his mom. And. Okay, if it's not in, I'm sorry, you guys are having <laughs> are to hear me. Look at... <laughs> ah, it's here, it's here. Okay, I got it, I got it. Uh, by the way, Alabama State Trooper for my dad. There you go. Nice. nice. That's where I keep all my precious things, which you're about to see. Nice. Uh, <laughs> my precious. So yeah, we are uh, driving back from dropping off my son. We are coming back on I-20, heading back towards Birmingham from Georgia. Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden Jess is playing Candy Crush or whatever on her phone, <laughs> you know, passing the time in the old car. And then all of a sudden <laughs> she hears me and I'm reaching around for something else. Um, <laughs> uh, she hears me. <gasps> yeah. And, yeah and we're she, driving. And she, she jumps up. So she thinks, great. We're about to wreck and uh well no we weren't about to wreck is and for our youtube viewers we see this on the road <laughs> yes An oscar meyer wienermobile we are passing it and i got stupid happy <laughs> the, the way i have been a lifelong fan of the wienermobile and this is what i was you know i got Speaking of Funko, our mm -hmm. Funko popped the Wienermobile right there. And then, of course, from the last time, last year, when the Wienermobile stopped in Birmingham over at Barber Motorsports, uh, the, I got my weenie whistle. Mm -hmm. nice. Right there, you know, yep. you know. There you go. There you go. Anyway. Ooh. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I, too, have seen the Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we, we passed the Wienermobile and we're like, oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. When are they going to make a stop? 
and it turns out as we're we're going we're heading towards you know towards georgia did not know until we saw the wienermobile driving as we were driving past it on the interstate it had been in oxford at walmart and i'm like we drove right past yeah. there oh, wow yeah earlier and if i would have known that we would have left 20 30 minutes early and stopped by and seen the wienermobile but it was in oxford today mm -hmm. and we didn't know it but we got to pass it and so thankfully jess took a video from the back of the wienermobile all the way to the front yep nice. and so that was a happy surprise i got stupid happy <laughs> seeing that thing ads i love the wienermobile i and don't know why every time it's around though i will stop and go in and i will get my weenie whistle and I will get the little trading cards that the drivers give out of themselves. And they give out postcards and stickers. I got so many Oscar Mayer things sitting around here. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and then we stopped at Bucky's. Yep. That's a that, that's oh, old yeah, news. I mean, but I, I told right? him. I was, old like, news. I was like, wouldn't it be awesome if the Wienermobile pulled into Bucky's and I could get a picture of <laughs> the oh. Wienermobile at Bucky's? That would be the best picture. That's yeah, like our happiness. It didn't happen. And, and combined there, but no, it didn't happen. Yeah. So. And well, if right I had now, to guess, the, the Wiener Mobile probably runs on diesel. Least, <laughs> probably. I don't think that's a Could deal be. there, right? It's hope, well, yeah. one could hope and one can yeah. dream. Yeah. But. But we were, but we were actually, you know, like, well, when we get up on the interstate, will we see it again? Are we going to, you know, we're going to catch up to it after we leave Bucky's? But no, it's just alas. A, that's just Wiener. that one time, one time drive by on the interstate there. Yeah. But that 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 just made my day. That made my entire Sunday. Every, <laughs> if I lay eyes on the Wienermobile, you're you're going to see a very happy old man. This the only true. time I've ever seen the Wienermobile has been passing it in, on the interstate. That's the only time I've ever seen it. Really, that's so. the first time I've ever seen it on the interstate. I've I've always known where they, like when I lived um, in East Alabama, they used to come to Auburn and Opelika all the time, and we would go and take the kids and and all. But uh, we stopped by there, yeah, you know, last year when they when they came back through. Mm -hmm. According and, to the, their website, they would be at the center Walmart May twentieth. So yeah, yes. it's above Gaston. Though. Yeah, we looked at we looked at that. That's okay. uh, we've got we've got a we've got a pretty busy day that day. Yeah, um, that Friday we we have one of three children finally graduating high school. Yep. Oh, nice. One of them nice. Finally going out into the real world. That is a scary, scary thought. But one out the door, two more to go. <laughs> Come on, yeah. empty nest. Oh, it'll be they'll be like us here soon. Because let's see, you'll see. This will be my let's see, two that be twenty three years for me. Yeah, twenty two. Wait, mm -hmm. no, twenty three. You're, you're. I say, what are you guys at for your years out of high school? I graduated in ninety five. So let's do let's so do that math. What is that? <laughs> Twenty-seven. Yep. Yeah. I'm twenty-eight years removed. Mm -hmm. Twenty-eight. Oh yep. my gosh. We try to be cool and hip, and then eventually we Here just we drag ourselves back into the age thing again. Yeah. Talking about it, dragging ourselves back in. <laughs> talking about how old we are. Well, I was just I was like I was just curious. I would say you know that's <laughs> yeah. it's funny because like it seems it does and it doesn't seem like it's been that long. Yeah. Well, yeah. As of. May the twentieth, I will have I my son will be graduating from high school. Wow. Cool. Yeah. That, that those years fly, fly by pretty fast. Yeah. Folks. So we so we got a fun full day planned on Friday for him. Mm -hmm. He'll graduate that night. And so we're gonna take him out to gonna take him out for some alligator, red beans and rice and stuff for yeah. lunch. Nice. Have a good lunch. For his benefit and ours. Baked bean waffles? <laughs> no. No baked bean waffles. <laughs> 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 Put some mayo on top. Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> you hadn't been, you, you had been, you hadn't been whacking any mayonnaise jars with any hammers lately. Had no, you? <laughs> no, no. Look, I, <laughs> so, this was, so, so Oliver's takeaway from the from the picnic was that Dad didn't like. Dad hates mayonnaise. He had he had, they did a they did a little project. What would you do on a nice summer day? And it was talking uh, about a picnic. And the uh, the whole the whole thing turned out it was going to be. Yes. <laughs> what did you mean? What did you do on a nice summer day? Whack mayonnaise with a hammer. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. This is this is just you know. There, there's no, there's no story of there's just it, he would uh, he would wrote it would be. It would be a picnic with me and his two friends Sorry. from school, me and my wife. And then just the picture was me standing there. Like I said, if you guys, I'll I'll have to I'll throw that in the front porch or something. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. His takeaway is his dad does not like mayo. I do not like mayo so much that I would take a hammer to it. <laughs> <laughs> not just a hammer, a big hammer. Yes. <laughs> what a nice summer day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> children. Oh, the gosh. beauty of children, I'm telling you. <sighs> oh, he is hilarious. Oh. He is so hilarious. If we uh, ruined your eardrums, I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> the picture's funny, but then hearing what would you do on a nice summer day is what got me. <laughs> oh. see. I'll, have to find, I'll have to find the picture while we're sitting here. My dad takes his screen. hatred out on mayonnaise hey. <laughs> on a nice summer day. Happy Fourth of July, mayo. Yeah. Picture, pi- picture a beautiful picnic. And then the camera pans up to see Bo standing there with two hammers going to town. It's It's like office space and kicking the printer. Yes. (laughs) Die, mayo, die, mayo, die. (laughs) It's a giant mascot dressed up as a giant thing of mayo, and he's beating the crap out of him. (laughs) You guys guys got me now looking. This is my idea of a good summer day. (laughs) <laughs> uh, i'm gonna try to get it before we get off topic see if i can find it i don't know how far back it goes let's see uh, 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 it says a picnic party i would go with my mom and dad uh, and his two uh, friends oakley and jimmy too we would play video games and also eat i wouldn't feel uh, well it says oh, it says i wouldn't feel too happy i would feel normal but i mean like i said there's <laughs> <I'll>, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just better and better. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll have to. I'll have to post the full pit, full picture for you guys to see. All I just got the zoomed in of me screaming. I ha- I don't like mayo. Oh, out of the mouths of babies. Yes, so, as they say. Yeah. So, oh, oh. Bo, that's great. <laughs> thank you, thank you for sharing that with us. You, you, uh, you guys are welcome. Like, so I this, love it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I'm just normal. I mean, yeah. it's another day. Yeah. Dad's beating up mayo. And yeah, um, <laughs> playing video games with my friends, and yeah, yeah. Gonna, yeah and, and Dad's in a homicidal rage against mayo. That's all good. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be like Michael Douglas and falling down just on the mayo. <laughs> <aisle, I guess. laughs> We just never know where we're going to, <laughs> what direction we're going to head into. Well, especially when we bring up it. Oliver. I mean, it's yeah, always going to be Oliver. Uh, my, my kid, Ugh. I'm telling you, he's... <laughs> He's yeah, made for he's some precious man. Y'all have had some interesting uh, streams on Twitch before, so oh. you know, yeah, just, just speaks to y'all's dynamic there. Oh. I think we haven't streamed as much as we have just because we've been busy too. Like I said, we used <laughs> to right. before we was in school, and then you know, of course, twenty twenty when everybody was stuck at home, it was fun to do stuff like that. I'm gonna try to <laughs> pick back up this summer. Yeah. Oh, oh that's great. Right <laughs> My face is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> and we still got the rest of the podcast to go. I know, yeah. right? We still... <laughs> no kidding. <clears throat> All right. Uh, okay. Moving along. As always, I derailed the derailed the. No, no, that was no, <laughs> these are happy derailments. They're happy yeah, derailments. Dude, it's good. This is what we're all about. When people ask, <laughs> "What?" Give us the sole description of Bama Geeks. Our answer is, we don't know. We are like it a goes box everywhere. of chocolate. So, yep. We you talk about stuff, and somehow, it, it, somehow, it always goes back to how how what our age is, and then we mm-hmm. do something else, and then it goes back to what our age is, and that's yeah. pretty much what we do. Yeah, <laughs> what much. were we talking about again? Yeah. 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 <laughs> 